There's been an outpouring of support for a Vancouver assistant fire chief who had an emergency amputation while on a family trip overseas. Christopher Wan is currently in a Hong Kong hospital after losing his right leg to necrotizing fasciitis, commonly known as flesh-eating disease. They don't know when they can come back home, but we're you know, crossing our fingers and hopefully uh, he uh, stabilizes enough where we can bring him back home. A GoFundMe page for Juan and his family has raised more than $60,000 as of Sunday afternoon. Juan's partner is Marie Huey, an anthem singer for the Whitecaps and Canucks. In an Instagram post, she says he almost didn't make it out of that operating theater alive. He and the doctors fought so hard. We're still waiting to be clear to fly, but for now, we are grateful for all the wonderful messages and phone calls and flowers that humbly fill our hearts with love. Her post includes a message from Juan, which says, I'd like to express how overwhelming the support has been for me and my family from so far away. I never imagined my situation would reach the knowledge of the mayor and council. I'm so thankful and can't wait to come home to thank you all in person. Vancouver Mayor Ken Sim and city councillors sent a bouquet of flowers and a card to Juan. Sim has also been in touch with Huey. You know, it's tough being in Hong Kong right now. We, uh, you know, they have two little kids. Now, fortunately, they have some family there. Um, it's tough. Um, they want to get back home. According to the CDC, necrotizing fasciitis is a rare bacterial infection that spreads quickly in the body and can cause death. It's not clear how one got it. If you want to share the love and help support, um, a first responder who literally runs into burning buildings to make people safe across our city, uh, it'd be great if you know, as little or as much as some of them do. A statement from Vancouver Fire Chief Karen Fry says the department is grateful for the outpouring of support for Juan, who she describes as one of the strongest, most resilient and committed people the department knows. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.